Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is a really short video uh, because I wanted to show you how to put your original Nash foot straps onto your original Nash hover inflatable um, that now comes with uh, inserts for foot straps. But putting these original foot straps onto your original Nash board, it's not so easy uh, because you need you need a lot of patience and uh, it is a lot of work and it's um, it's tiring. Uh, I've spent, I think about one and a half hours on this now and I haven't been enjoying it. So I'll show you how I got around some of the shortcomings of the whole setup. And uh, I'm gonna point out some things that could be improved. And uh, I think if you have the time uh, to get improved parts, you will be having a lot better time than I have been having. Uh, but I'll show you. Okay, first, this is what you need. You need your foot straps. Uh, they come with these uh, packs of screws and, uh, and these uh, load, well, washers. Let's call it, let's just call them washers. And um, first thing you want to do is uh, take these screws and lose them. Uh, you do not want to put them in here. You need the screws that came with the board. Um, very important. Unfortunately, these screws are a little bit on the short side and I don't know why these are Phillips head screws. Um, that does not make any sense because when you try to screw this and you are going to put a lot of load on the screw just to get it past the PVA, and uh, if you have a screwdriver like this, and this is a really big one, and you have like, in my case, you're 200 pounds pressing down on this, you don't want to slip off uh, because you'll be punching this thing right through your board. Um, the other thing that would have been better was if this was a hex nut that is held captive by um, your tool. So, if you still have the time, get yourself uh, some uh, hex insert nuts and or screws and they should be M6 and should be about 16 millimeters long. The original is 14 millimeters, but I think uh, two extra millimeters would do a lot of good in this case. Make sure that they're stainless steel so they don't rust. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to go buy any of that, so I'm stuck with the original screws. And uh, I'm just try, I'm just trying to make it work somehow. So the first thing that you need to do is um, you need to get your washers in here, which is fine. And uh, no, you don't. You don't want to do that. The first thing you want to do is you want to take these out. You want to take a screw that came with a board. You want to take three washers, put them on the screw, put this through your washer that came with the straps. And what, the, what you then want to do is you want to put this into the insert where you want your screw to go, either to the back or to the front or whatever. And you want to put this in here and just tighten it down all the way so you compress the PVA. That is just gonna make it so much easier if the, the PVA at the spot where you want to put your foot strap in later is already compressed. Uh, you can do this using the original mounting plate or, or washer that comes with a foot strap. Uh, you can use a number of washers that came with the, uh, with the board. Um, no matter how you do it, uh, just make sure that you compress that ahead of time because it's just going to make it so much easier to get the screws in there. Now, as you can see, I have um, the washers in here all the way down um, as far as they will go. 
and what it's going to do is it's going to compress the PVA right around them and it's going to make the inserts uh, come up a little bit and that makes it a lot easier to get the screws in um, when you have your screws inside the foot straps uh, because um, when you have everything in here you're only going to have about 45 millimeter of thread to even get in there and it takes a lot of pressure to get these mounted. Now once you're done waiting for the PVA to compress, um, which takes about half an hour or so, uh, it, it will spring back up. But if you're rather quick, uh, then you can actually um, get this working pretty easy. So what you then want to do is you want to take these screws out from the board. You want to take your, your washers, put them in the end of your foot strap and get the center screw um, through the center hole here. Uh, you should be rather quick about this. And one thing that I found out that works very well is when you're done with that, take another washer and take an M6 nut and put it against the end and just tighten it down once. So you compress the whole foot strap structure as far as possible. So you get more threads uh, coming out of the foot strap. It just makes it so much easier. So um, let's do that now. And normally you would not be doing this on your board because you just risk slipping and uh, causing damage. Make sure that the screw actually makes it out the hole on the bottom of the foot strap. And once we have that, we take one washer and one nut and uh, we try to get the screw into the nut as far as possible. And then we can even take a small spanner and just get this all the way in there. The more you pull on the screw, the easier it's going to be to get it into the insert. And then we do it for the other side. So once we have um, all of this set up, um, I still have the nut on this one. I took it off of here. Um, we're then going to have a look. Uh, the screw should be protruding around five millimeters. If it's less than that, you're gonna have a really, really bad chance of catching the insert. And uh, well, then we get to the dangerous part because uh, what we have to do now is we have to get on here, uh, really press down hard so we compress all the PVA again get the screw into the insert and try to catch a thread. And um, this is where I think that uh, using a Phillips screwdriver is really dangerous because you could slip off and you will be putting this thing right into the board. And um, I don't know how well that material handles it. So be really careful. Um, preparation is everything here. So I'm going to try this now. Um, try to get it lined up as well as possible before press down hard and uh, 
see if we can get it to go. And the answer is no. It needs more force. You actually feel it when it catches. Um, okay, we got this one. Now, before we continue, what we have to do is we have to um, take all of the load out of the foot, mat, foot strap itself. Like, completely take it apart. So we can get the second part lined up. And before we do that, we need to remove the the nut we put on there, but uh, getting all of this uh, pretensioned uh, makes all the difference. And we try to line it up again. And if you hear it pop, then it caught. And we're in like Flynn. Now, when tightening down the screws, I would actually take a few turns of waiting um, because tighten it down uh, two or three turns a time, uh, wait a couple of minutes for the PVA uh, to just compress and get out of the way and then do it again uh, Don't go crazy on the pressure um, Try to do it over time uh, Because uh, you don't want to pull um, the inserts from from the material and uh, You don't want to uh, put unnecessary force onto them The inserts are closed on the bottom so you can't really with uh, reasonable force uh, get the screw to go into the board uh, but uh, still be really careful uh, right and once you have that uh, you've got your foot straps mounted um, personally I think it's kind of a pain but uh, it seems to work out okay and and once you've got your screws started uh, then these five millimeters of threads will be enough to hold them in um, indefinitely uh, but it's so hard to get these started because the the PVA is just so high and there's so much force required and uh, it is so difficult and so dangerous because uh, if you slip off with your screwdriver you're gonna cause a lot of damage and uh, like always just be careful so there you have it the original Nash foot straps on the hover inflatable S27 using only the tools that or the the things provided uh, with the two kits the only thing that you really need to make life easier is an M6 nut. Um, so you can put some pressure on the foot straps before putting them together, which makes it a lot easier and you get a lot more uh, threads to go into the board. Also, what is really important is that you use the uh, washers that come with the foot straps um, to compress the PVA before you try putting it together because you're just not going to be able to put up enough force and it's just such a pain and you need so much force to get it into the board and um, just reducing the force needed makes it a lot safer so you don't accidentally puncture your board. So 
If you have it, all done. Thank you very much for watching and have a good time. Bye-bye.